What's up guys? Welcome back sa ating channel. Again, this is your math teacher, Sir Gaor. Ready na po ba tayong matuto ng isa na namang panibagong math lesson? So, kung ready na, today we will be discussing graph of a linear equation in two variables. Okay, so later on, matututunan natin kung paano mag-graph ng linear equation in two variables. Okay, kung sa tingin nyo meron kayong natutunan sa video na to, you may like the video. Comment in the comment section and also please subscribe para dun sa mga hindi pa natin subscribers. Okay, so our objectives for this lesson is graph a linear equation in two variables using two points, x and y intercepts, and slope and y intercept. So again, sabi ko nga kanina, matututunan natin ngayon kung paano mag-graph ng linear equation in two variables. So, gamit yung mga yan. Okay. So, gaya po nang nakasanayan natin sa ating maths app, guys. So, magkakaroon po muna tayo ng drill. Okay? So, the drill is for you to solve for the value of x or y using the given value. So, isa-substitute lang po yung given value tapos masasolve na yung unknown. Good luck! These are the correct answers for our drill for today. I hope you got a perfect score of 5. Pero kung hindi man po, pakireview yung ating mga answers. Kasi kailangan natin tong simple skills na to para mas madali nating maintindihan yung ating bagong lesson. Let's proceed to our lesson which is graphing linear equations in two variables. So of course, from the word itself, linear. So ang i-expect nating magiging result dito ay line. Kasi linear equations yung ating ikagraph. Okay, so for letter A, using at least two points. Okay, examples. Complete each given table, then sketch the graph. For number 1, we have an equation x minus y equals 5. And we were given a table in which yung given table natin may values for x. So, ang hahanapin natin ngayon yung values ng y for each given values of x. Okay, so if we have x minus y equals 5 and the value of x is 3, so substitute lang natin yung value of x na 3 dun sa given equation. So palitan natin yung x ng 3. And afterwards, we need to isolate y so that we can solve for the value of it. So we have to remove 3. So to remove 3, since it is positive 3, we, add to, we need to subtract or add negative 3 on both sides of the equation. So, mag a tayo ng negative 3 sa magkambilang side. So, we have now 3 minus 3. So, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, we were now left with negative y. And then, 5 minus 3 is of course 2. Pero, hindi pa na-isolate yung y, no? So, dapat walang negative sign. To remove the negative sign, we have to, remove, you have to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative y is positive y. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So, therefore, we have now the value of y, which is negative 2. If we were given a value of x, which is 3. So, remember, these are coordinates x, comma y. So, it means to say that we have a point that is located at 3, comma, negative 2. Okay, so let's plot that point. It is located at 3, comma, negative 2. So, nandyan po yung ating point. Okay, so we have, we need to have another point. No? Since uh, two points can determine a line. So, kailangan pa natin ng isa, kahit isa pa sana. No? Okay, so if we were given the value of x, which is 4, a value of x that is 4, and then substitute it to the equation, and then isolate again the value of y, we will have, a value of y which is negative 1. Therefore, if if that if x is 4, y is negative 1. So that is 4 comma negative 1. And 4 comma negative 1 is right here. So therefore we need we now have we now have two points. So magkakaroon na ng line yan. And there is the line. So having gone, complete the table, so kulang pa tayo doon sa 0. So ganun din. If x is 0. So, we have the value of y is negative 5. And obviously, doon din sa itsura ng graph natin, 
kapag nandun tayo na dun sa x, ang value ng x natin ay 0, tumapat siya doon sa negative 5. So, based dun sa figure, sa negative 5 talaga lalabas, and also based on the computation, pag kinompute, negative 5 din talaga yung lalabas. Okay? So, therefore, that is our uh, answer. The line is our answer. And the name of the la that line is x minus y equals 5. So, that's how to graph um, linear equations in two variables using at least two points. Again, kahit dalawang points lang ang binigay, no? Let's have example number 2. 2x plus 3y equals 5. And the given table, this time, kay y naman nagbigay ng values. Okay, so we have the given equation, 2x plus 3y equals 5, and the value of y is negative 1. So, we'll just substitute negative 1 to the given equation. Okay, so, napalitan natin ng negative 1. Ayan. So, that is now 2 times, or 2x plus 3 times negative 1 equals 5. And 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Okay, we have to isolate x, remember? So, we need to remove negative 3. To remove that negative 3, so we have to add positive 3, or we have to add 3 on both sides of the equation. So, plus 3 sa left side, and then it will become 0. Plus 3 rin, of course, sa right side. So, we were, we were now left with 2x, and 5 plus 3 is 8. The last one, we need to remove 2. Therefore, we need to divide 2 on both sides of the equation. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, we have now x equals 4. So, if the value of y is negative 1, for the equation 2x plus 3y equals 5, the value of x is 4. So, therefore, we can have a coordinate that is located at, or we can have a point that is located at 4, negative 1. So, let's plot that point. 4, negative 1. Can you see the location of 4, negative 1? Okay, it's right there. 4, negative 1. And to solve for the other values, if y is equal to 1, if we will substitute 1 to the given equation, we will have a value of x that is positive 1. So, therefore, we have a coordinate that is 1, 1. Can you see the 1, 1? Okay, 1, 1 is right there. So, therefore, we can now have a line. Pwede na tayo mag-drawing ng line. So, yun yung line natin. Okay, so, pag titignan natin dyan, sa line natin, tinatanong pa yung value ng y na 3, tsaka yung value na y na 5. So, kahit halos hindi na natin compute, tignan na lang natin dun sa ating line. So, yun no? So, tumapat siya dun sa negative 2. Pag sa 3, kapag sa 5 naman, tumapat siya sa negative 5. So, since two points can determine a line. So, make sure pag ginagawa lang yan, straight talaga yung ating line para tamang-tama or sasakto doon sa mga grid. Okay, so also by computation, of course, when we substitute y equals 3, doon sa binigay na equation, ang lalabas, ang value ng x ay negative 2. At kapag sinubstitute naman natin yung, y na, yung given value na y na 5, doon sa equation, ang lalabas doon na value ng x ay negative 5. Okay, so therefore, those are the answers for the table. And the name of that line is 2x plus 3y equals 5. Let's now have using x and y intercepts. Let's take note that x-intercept, which is being denoted by small letter a, it is where the graph crosses the x-axis. Or sa Tagalog, kung saan daw tumama yung graph sa x-axis. And in x-intercept, the value of y is equal to 0. Same thing with y-intercept. It's being denoted as small letter b. Kaya nga po doon sa ating slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Yung B kasi dun ay yung y-intercept. Okay. Y-intercept, it is where the graph crosses the y-axis. Or kung saan tumama yung graph sa y-axis. And the value of x in y-intercept is equal to 0. Okay, let's have examples. Sketch the graph by using intercepts. For number 1, we have x plus 2y equals negative 4. Ibigyan ko lang po kayo ng tip kung kailan the best gamitin ang intercepts kasi mas madali sana ito 
Mas madali lang ito kaysa dun sa nauna nating uh, diniscuss kanina. Okay, so kaya lang, dapat alam nyo kung kailan siya magandang gamitin. Okay, if the equation is written in standard form, yan, naka-standard form na yung ating equation, titignan nyo yung constant, which is negative 4. Tignan natin kung yung negative 4 ba ay divisible sa mga numerical coefficient ni x and y. Kapag divisible siya parehas, intercepts or x and y intercepts ang gamitin sa pag-graph. Let's see, negative 4 divided by 1, so divisible. Negative 4 divided by 2, it's also divisible. So maganda ang gamitin or the best ng gamitin ay ang intercepts method. Again, dapat naka-standard form. Tapos yung mga numerical coefficient ay divisible or yung yung constant ay divisible ng mga numerical coefficients. Okay, after identifying na maganda nga ang gamitin, yung intercepts, yung x and y intercepts, mag-drawing ng ganitong table. Okay, nalagyan ng mga 0, 0 kasi nga para doon sa mga intercepts. Okay, tapos ganun din, magsasolve na lang din. Okay, for x intercept, the value of y is 0. So, value of y is 0, so ikakancel na lang yan kasi 0 naman yung value ng y. Okay, so we have now, or we were left with x equals negative 4. It means to say that we have a coordinate that is located at negative 4, 0. So when we graph, negative 4, 0 is right there. And now we have to solve for the y-intercept. In y-intercept, the value of x is equal to 0. Okay, so we have the equation, sabing ganon, ang x daw ay magiging 0, so mga cancel na lang siya agad. And we will be left with 2x equals negative 4, or 2y rather, 2y equals negative 4. Dividing both sides by 2, we will have y equals negative 2. So therefore, the y-intercept is located at 0, negative 2. Ayun, so yan na yung ating dalawang points. Pwede na tayo mag-drawing ng line. And there is our line. Okay? So, mas madali si intercepts method kung applicable siya or kung uh, divisible. Okay, so this is the x-intercept and of course, this is the y-intercept. And the name of the line is uh, x plus 2y equals negative 4. Okay? So, yung pangalan ng line ay yung pangalan ng equation or kung ano yung equation. Number 2, we have 3x minus 5y equals 15. So, pansinin natin. So, naka-standard form siya. Okay? Itong 15 ay divisible by 3. Yung 15 ay divisible by negative 5. So, therefore, intercepts method ang the best gamitin. Mag-drawing ng ganyang table, xy, tapos 0, 0. And then, we can now start computing. For x-intercept, the value of y is 0. So, yung y natin ay makakancel na. O yung term na may y ay magiging 0 na. So, may e1, 3x equals 15. Dividing both sides by 3. So, cancel out na, may e1 na lang ay yung x. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, therefore, the value of x is equal to 5. So, yan. So, we have now a coordinate that is located at 5,0. Or the x-intercept is at 5,0. Ayun, nandun siya. And, for the y-intercept, ganun din. Y-intercept, x equals 0. So, yung x naman ang magiging 0. So, yan. So, may e1 ay negative 5y equals 15. Divide both sides by negative 5. Okay. So, we will be left with y equals negative 3. So, therefore, y-intercept is at 0, negative 3. So, nandun siya. So, we now have two points. So, mabilis lang i-compute ang, ang x and y-intercepts. Yeah. Okay, and the name of the line is yung binigay na equation. So, we have 3x minus 5y equals 15. Let's have the last one using slope and y-intercept. Examples, sketch the graph using slope and y-intercept. Let's try to recall that the slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Pag isolated na yung y, m yung slope, tapos b naman yung y-intercept. Example number 1, y equals 3x minus 4. Maybe you're wondering or you're asking, Sir, kailan po ba magandang gamitin atong slope and y-intercept? The best yung gamitin kung ang binigay na equation ay naka-slope-intercept form na. 
Since the equation y equals 3x minus 4 is in slope-intercept form, pinakamagandang gamitin talaga rito yung slope and y-intercept. Okay, so we have already the slope which is the 3 and the y-intercept which is negative 4. Okay, so how to do this? Um, kapag mag-slope and y-intercept, you always start with the y-intercept. Okay, the y-intercept is located at 0, negative 4. So, lalagyan lang ng 0 yung uh, x. Kasi sabi nga natin kanina, in y-intercept, the value of x is equal to 0. So, doon tayo mag start sa y-intercept. Okay, so it is located at 0, negative 4. Nandiyan na yun. May isang point na tayo agad. May isang, may isang point na agad doon sa y-intercept. And then, let's now use the slope. Remember that the slope is 3. And remember, or let's try to recall that the slope is equal to rise over run. So, sabi sa slope, it is the rise over run. So, since it is 3, wala ka namang denominator, we can rename 3 as 3 over 1 para meron tayong denominator. And 3 is the rise. Yan, so 3 rise. From negative 4, magra-rise ng 3. So, napunta na sa negative 1. And then, magra-run tayo ng 1. Since our slope is positive, therefore, we are going to the right. So, the run will go to the right. Ayun, so papunta ng kanan, 1 unit. Therefore, nandyan na yung ating, nandyan na yung ating isa pang point. So, again, nag-start doon sa y-intercept. Tapos, inalam yung isang point by using the slope. Nag-rise, tapos nag-run. Malalaman na natin yung isa pang point. So, therefore, we can now have our line. Ayun yung ating line. And that line is, y equals 3x minus 4. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Let's have number 2. 4x plus 3y equals 3. So, it's given in standard form. But based dun sa instruction, sabi, uh, gamitan daw natin ng slope and y-intercept. Okay, if that's the case, we have to transform this in slope-intercept form. So, in slope-intercept form. Okay, so what is the slope-intercept form of 4x plus 3y equals 3? So, we, when we isolate y, so ito yung nangyayari. So, I hope medyo marunong na kayo or may idea na kayo kung paano mag-transform yan. You may recall video number 19, standard form to slope-intercept form. Okay, so we have now y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 1. So, kitang kita na agad. mag start tayo sa y-intercept, which is at 0, 1. Asan pa yung 0, 1? So, nandoon. Okay? Tapos, nagamitin natin yung ating slope, which is negative 4 thirds. So, we have 4 rise. So, 4 rise from positive 1 napunta na dun sa 5. And then, we have 3 run to the left since our slope is negative. So, to the left naman tayong ayan. Okay, so 3 run. So, we have now this point. Again, 4 rise and 3 run. To the left kasi negative yung slope natin. Now, we have our line. Okay? And as you can see also, the trend of the line is decreasing kasi nga negative yung ating slope. And the name of that line is 4x plus 3y equals 3. It's now time for you to practice what you have learned. We only have three questions for the try this. So, for number 1, number 2, and number 3. Ito yung ABC natin kanina. Good luck! These are the correct answers for our try this. So, I hope na kumpleto nyo yung table at na-graph nyo ng maayos yung inyong mga sagot. Okay? So, I hope you learned something from this video. You may like this video kung sa tingin nyo natuto po kayo. And you may also comment in the comment section. And I hope to see you again in our next video. Much up guys!